Hey, sorry about the <laughs> the abrupt stop in part one. I had to, I wanted to uh, <laughs> pause it, but it stopped. Oh well. So ap- I apologize for that. But what I was saying is, when the spirits travel, they have a shield on because there are other entities who are trying to like jump or penetrate or attach themselves so even even as a human you have to put a shield on you have to protect yourself and your shield whatever you put on is good enough but you just have to have you know um faith that it's going to work and that's the biggest thing faith and put like cover yourself with love like the i use the pink light of unconditional love too and always try to be of love even when you're healing and when you're healing sometimes it's hard to you know fully embrace that positive energies because all these negative things are coming up even then just put the intention to be of love the intention is enough and and it works so it's it's important that you are understanding that this month what you're going through right now is not because you're weak or you're targeted you are targeted but at the same time it's like you're targeted because they want to discourage you from going into your full power because you are so powerful that they are taking the time out of their day to mess you up you see like it's like if something or someone poses a huge threat to you during a war that's the person that you're trying to you're going to try to take out and you're going to try the hardest don't care about the weak people because they don't have anything you know they, they can't do anything to you but when they see your potential in the in the timeline and they, when they see what you can do they will attack you more so it's important to be in your full power embody your your true self And that, to do that, you have to go step by step, you know. When you are trying to heal or trying to figure things out, pay attention to what chakra is being upgraded. You can feel it because you'll feel like this sense of pressure in that area or that like discomfort. And obviously the ascension symptoms like like body pains or itching or things like that so think about the fears that could be attached to each chakra lessons that could be um, attached to each chakra Uh, and then try to see like if things can come up so that it you can heal it and let it go it's just it's like cleaning up your house you just have to look around and see what needs to be cleaned up and what needs to be kind of perfected okay put the shield on don't worry about the outside but just really understand that your inner world is what becomes your outer world so it may there were there like my guides took these um these drastic measures to make sure that i become powerful spiritually because i was being attacked and i was going in this victim mode why is this happening to me oh my gosh please protect me please protect me and then when these things happen i'm like i'm going to protect my damn self and then I got into this. I I literally prayed a lot, said a lot of mantras, and went in within and really listened 
to your inner guidance that's what they're trying to push you through to listen to your inner guidance every day the moment you pick up and and listen to like you know you can listen to youtube or like like listen to what other people say but that can help you only to a certain extent like i was listening to bashar on youtube he's an entity uh, who is from another parallel a world or a universe or something like that like another planet that is kind of like earth but they have ascended to a place where they are like their their bodies are like half light half physical type of a thing and uh, they're uh, you know they're friendly so this person he is like a incarnation of that entity who he's channeling and they give a lot of wonderful wonderful advice and it's very simple this the advice they gave is pay attention to your heart chakra okay pay attention to what like right now if you're thinking what should i do think about what should i do and then say say thinking of reading a book makes your heart feel joyful do that follow what your heart says follow the kind of like the trail of joy and happiness whatever that makes you happy and brings you joy at that point is what you should be doing it doesn't matter what you do joy brings you to the place where you need to go to don't analyze don't think about the details don't think about logic oh if i do this this happens if i do that. just follow the joy in your heart and that's all you need to do just keep keep in that joyful vibration because that is how you go to the fifth dimension and that's what he said just like just keep doing um what you're doing keep in that joyful momentum and that vibration and then things are just going to show up miraculously and that's how you get into that miracle consciousness too yeah we can't be in it all the time obviously life happens sometimes things happen but whatever happens it's really up to you to bring yourself up back into that upper higher vibration your vibratory field is the most important and that's what you we are working on right now we are working on creating that vibratory field we are playing around to see what happens when you go uh to a lower vibration what happens when you go to a higher vibration it's something like that it's um it's just part of the growth it's it's part of learning um how to use your power and how to change vibrations how to change dimensions learning takes time learning takes effort and in my case i've learned that from last year to this year i've l- really really learned how to let go and just be in that surrender mode and it took a lot of it took a lot of um practice to constantly be in that and of course sometimes you know it it's hard but it's about practice so now you're learning how to protect yourself at different levels so if you do get entity attacks or whatever that means you have to level up find ways to level up find ways to find the light within you find the power within you and just fill yourself with light and love it's part of you can't be the most powerful without going through trials i watch all these chinese dramas you know those fantasy dramas i love them okay i'm not going to deny i love them and all of these things like the these people like the most powerful person in that starts out as 
a nobody, like an apprentice, and they work their way up. One of the Chinese movies, I know you might want to ask, which one do you watch? Well, I'll tell you which one I watch. One, like this is one of the best, like I love this Chinese drama. It's called um, Eternal Love, okay? So, in case you're going to start watching Chinese dramas, I'm going to warn you. You have to be ready for people dying and negative endings sometimes. But it's really nice. So, it's called Eternal Love. And this, the main leading lady, Yang Mi, uh, that's the actress's name. She started out as a nobody like when she was born people thought of her as like cursed and you know just like she was still a beat and she was still like nobody wanted to talk to her but she was still like a beat and you know in her in her path whatever and then at one point she was sent to be like she she had to do like this apprenticeship i think and then these dramas are long like with like one hour episodes and like so many different episodes um so anyways so she was sent to be an apprentice and she had to start just working on developing her skills so it's not like you're going to be like <laughs> even if Jesus himself has to come down and get an incarnation he still has to like you know still develop his powers because that's what it is that's how it is that's coming into a human life so everyone has to go through this learning process remembering process and honing their skills and tapping into the inner powers or the powers that we have acquired over the previous lifetimes and it takes a frequency match you have to get into that frequency match and a vibration that right vibration to tap into those things so you can't be like oh i'm a light worker so it's gonna come automatically now you have to work for it so you know we're working our way up basically and everyone is unique in their own way it's not like you know, don't compare yourself to other people. I think that's the most important. Comparing yourself to other people is just going to put you on this downward spiral because you really have to understand that each person has to bring their own unique piece. No one can... You can't duplicate another person because only one of you is needed for that type of particular thing so whatever you come with is part of that bigger picture so you really can't compare your piece of the puzzle to someone else it doesn't make sense because you're bringing your unique vibration and frequency to assist with this and everything comes into a harmony at the end and that's how it is so you have to really go within to find and tap into that unique frequency that you're supposed to emit the moment you're done with that the moment you do that all the other external forces are going to cease because they cannot infiltrate you they cannot bother you any longer okay and another thing i've noticed about myself is that i'm not triggered as i used to be by people so if people try to, you know, tug at my emotions or say things that might upset another person, otherwise it would have upset me a few months ago, I don't react anymore. So you have to really notice those things about yourself. How, what you have accomplished, what you have, um, like, learned. That is important part of that is an important part of the journey because then you will know that you have made progress rather than thinking oh i haven't done anything or i haven't made progress you are making progress it's just not being shown at this point you know um but we really have to keep on going forward and that's really important it's really important because it's like 
from like even in some areas of my life I'm like I see no hope sometimes but I'm just like you know what it's okay I'm just gonna trust I'm just gonna trust that this is going to happen for me because that's how it is and I've done this type of things before where everything just seems so hopeless and but I still kept my trust and then I did get what I was expecting so I I know that it works I know you just have to let go you just have to let go and let go of all the expectations uh, and thinking of how it's going to be done just know that it, it will be done in a way that will surprise you at the most unexpected time but claiming your sovereignty is very important at this point because that's you coming to a place where you can protect yourself and protect others especially the blue rays you guys are like the the warriors if a soldier is not well trained and well confident can they do their job no you have to like it's kind of like you're going through this training and ex getting this experience and confidence build up so you can do your job properly you can help others um like you have to come to a place where you are like i have nothing else to lose i'm gonna fight the good fight you know <laughs> like it's you're being pushed to that like really just soldier through and push through this okay this month is vital for that like really being confident in yourself and in your guidance and in the decisions sorry in the decisions that you make don't ask like come to a, it's okay to ask but come to a point attempt to come to a point where you are all you need for advice you see that when you're lost when you're stuck go look for answers but after you find some guidance go within and think about it so you know how it will pertain to you and your unique experience and that is being highlighted your unique experience the reason why you have these unique experiences is because you are going to use those unique experiences so that unique experience to do your work to be in your frequency okay so th that is what it is you really have to be confident you have to be empowered and it doesn't mean you have to be already it means work towards it you know no one is perfect trust me no one is perfect no one even if people seem to be doing well or like in their best version quote unquote there's still stuff going on because we haven't fully gotten rid of the dark yet so there's going to be stuff how can we fully get rid of them by being in our full power so now is that time that gap between our awakening and being fully ascended so we are in our full power so you just have to keep going forward and the energies the light waves that are coming are helping you with it it's uh it's part of the ascension don't worry i don't feel like you're losing it or you're not doing enough you are doing enough and everything is coming up to be healed so allow these things to come up heal and leave don't react to it just just let it play out just let it play out that's all i can say put a shield on find out what you can heal and work out and if you're if you feel ang anxious or 
these emotions to start coming up just let it play out by itself and you will see what the lesson is what you're learning what you're healing a lot like a lot of things are at a collective level or from past lives you know the, these things have to be healed because they're kind of like blocks in your body we're clearing the dna we're clearing so we can heal the dna so the best thing is to just let things play out but it's important to make the intention to work towards being fully empowered like that is the goal use your inner guidance to come to your full power so you are relying on yourself your best judgment by choosing love light joy happiness by pl- choosing the higher timelines by choosing to be in your highest and best self how by being in joy joy attracts good things what brings you joy do that even if it's something small that's what i wanted to share with you guys because that is something that i'm experiencing the people around me experience are experiencing and especially the blu-ray beings like you guys are being like really intimidated by this but don't be because the bigger picture is that light has already won and we're just clearing up the garbage right now okay so keep on keeping on guys i this is what i wanted to share with you this is madhu from adiyogi reda thank you so much for joining for me for another podcast and please do check out my services it is listed down below the website i will talk to you next time